Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Rich H. Hunts. In front of us, we have another bag of 50 pences. Um, this one, I've looked this source code up, it's from Uxbridge. I can't make the date out on it though. But, uh, who knows? Anyway, it's from Uxbridge. Um, Rolly over bags in a Lloyd's bag. All nicely sealed, no holes or tears. So let's, can I, no. Oh, well, let's just get it open and get on with it, shall we? You know what we're looking for for the book. It's um, Taekwondo and, you know, Kew Gardens would be nice, but I'm not holding my breath for that one. If we do find a Taekwondo, we shall call it quits. That one is open, look. I did see a spillage somewhere, I'm sure I did. Yeah, I don't know where that's come from. It might be that bag, it might be a different, uh, a different one. So, there's a load of loose coins there. We'll start with that one, I think. Move the rest out of the way. We'll do that one second. Right, let's zoom in just a little bit. Right, pick these up and we start with this lot, isn't it? Oh, something just caught my eye there. I'm not, well, I'll tell you what year it is. It's from 2011. That's all I'm going to say because that's all I can see at the moment. It says 2011 on it. Ah, that's interesting. Right, anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, shields, there are years we look for. Um, but we'll talk about them later if we need to. That looks really, really, that's got to be 2014. That looks really washed out. Yeah, I was right, 2014. As you can see, it's not half as sharp as you would expect it to be. Where's the other one? Oops, throw that in there. That is a really washed out, worn die, big time. But, you know what, I'm not gonna keep it because I don't see the point. But anyway, okay, so carry on, carry on, carry on. So that first bag is the best. Oh, the first load of spillage was the best. We we'll talk about this. I don't know what this is. A two thousand and three. <laughs> we'll may come back to that thought. A single commemorative, yeah? No, oh, that is one though. 2016, it's either going to be a Potter or a Team GB. Oh, boom! Mrs. Jemima Puddleduck. Thank you very much. What a first commemorative. <coughs> okay, that was unexpected. And very welcome. Makes you wonder then what else could be there, doesn't it? What else are we gonna find? Twenty twenty shield, but that's it. Nothing really interesting there. Because it's a bust. I'm tempted to pick that bag up now, but we'll get to it eventually. That's very grubby and grotty and horrible.
Another burst. Hmm. Ah, there can be a burst as long as, you know, with a pedal deck, I don't care. It's not, it's not going to be a, the rest of it isn't going to be a burst uh, because we know that at least one Olympic they're waiting for us. 15. Oh, there's an Olympic there. Nothing else in that bag, though. Shall we keep all the Olympics till the end? Just for a change, yes. We shall do that, I think. If, if we find them obvious up, we shall leave them till the end. There we are. Decision made. 2006, nice condition. Another open bag. Johnson's Dictionaries. Very, very common, that one. Nothing else. Another bag is open up. Oh, it's not rocket science. It really annoys me. But banks don't know how to close bags. But there you go. Hear that? I do apologize. That was my stomach making some appreciated noises after it's been fed. Another burst. The best. Wow. It's bonkers. There's something coming up here. Nothing exciting, but it's something. Diversity built Britain. And Another diversity built, but nothing further. I wonder if that's the one we know there's a little bit in that, so we'll finish it up. <laughs> oh, God. Nothing again.
Another bird. Wow. Another diversity. Nothing else. And another burst. Another open bag. Another bird. This is very peculiar. Very, very peculiar indeed. Twenty seventeen shield. Right. Better talk about shields now, wouldn't we? This is the lowest minted shield that went into circulation. And as such, too many is a keeper and uh, an overface value coin. Maybe not so much now, but probably come the future. Oh, but our first. 17 Potter coming up. It's not the only year of shield we do look for though. Oh, there's a Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. You can sit up there, sweetheart. Um, because there are years where no shields. 2017's Taylor Peter Rabbit there. Eh? Very, very common. The second most common commemorative 50 pence, in fact. So no great shakes. Um, yeah, so there were years, as I was saying, where no definitive 50 pences no, in the form of shields went into circulation. 2023 King Charles, and it is the coronation. Another one that is very common. Um, and those years are quite valuable where none were minted for circulation. Um, they weren't minted for circulation, so how can we find them? Well, 2022, that's the pride. They were minted for the annual collector sets. So if somebody comes into possession of one of those sets, has no, oh, that one is taped. I'll come back to that one. Has no interest or knowledge regarding coins. Somebody could take one of those sets and break it up into pieces. And basically just spend the coins. Oh, there's another Charles, 50 pence on this side. So that is the Memorial 50 pence.
Misschien doen ze wat mooi wat komt. Nothing else. Um, so they can theoretically turn up in your change from time to time. But of course you've got to know what to look for. So if you find a shield 50 pence from any of the following years, oh, it's been beaten up big time, um, it's you know, worth hanging on to because it's worth proper cash. And we're not talking about two or three pounds, we're talking about ten pound plus probably. So the years you're looking for will be 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 2021. Any of those years should not be in your change. And, uh, yeah, good luck to you, and well done if you happen to find one. Not everybody looks well, I think most. Most of the coin tubers check, but it's not the sort of thing your sort of general Joe blogs in the street would look for. So it is, you know, it's worth checking. I found a few, I know lots of other people have as well, so. It's always worth taking that time just to check, I think. Another bus. Damn. You've got three bags to go. There's another pride. Nothing else. On to a tape bag. Oh, there's another 2016. Potter Team GB. It's another Tig even call. At Britannia's 2008 is the lowest minted year. Um, if it's in nice condition, it's worth keeping. I won't be keeping that one though. I have lots and plenty and more. Put that in, in that bag and onto the final bag. I jinxed it, didn't I, by saying any 2011s and finally leave really face down. There's the other Olympic. We'll find out what that one is very shortly. Find out what the two of them are very shortly. Well, it's not exactly filling the mat, is it? That hunt. But what have we got? We have an Olympic fencing, a fighty one. Not the fighty one we want, but it's a an Olympic fencing and an Olympic canoeing or kayaking, whichever is correct. So, those three have made it a worthwhile hunt by any, any measure. So, I'm going to say I'm happy with that, unsurprisingly. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you all on the next hunt. Bye for now.